So, I've started to think about this a lot. The thing is, if I threw the 16-pound ball every day, or even if I threw an 8K or 9K, if I try to throw that motherfucker every day, uh, my soul would bleed. My soul would bleed. My back would, uh, because Litzenstein, and uh, it'd be a GG. It'd be a GG. Um, so, the other thing with this theory here is that the light hammers, um, yeah, it's fun. It's an ego stroke is what it is because um, it's it's definitely a lighter ball. It's easier to work. Um, but you have to be technically sound. Um, if you're not being technically sound, if you're not focusing on some type of uh, trying to um, – hammer down something that you can translate to a heavier ball well you're you're wasting uh, you're wasting your time um i remember watching um one of old sean don's videos and he was basically saying that he was having a hard time throwing the 5k and um it had to do with how strong he was i mean a grown-ass man um you can always throw the 5k far i mean and that's the thing about this whole ego like you can always throw the 5k far but it doesn't necessarily translate to throwing a heavy ball far so that takes a real amount of focusing on uh what you're doing technically in the ring and then trying to take that and translate it to a heavier ball um the theory that i'm going by right now is that um if i throw these um a couple of days and then i go back to a uh, heavier ball then i think i might be okay uh versus as far as me throwing every day um but if i tried to do the heavy the heavies all day every day it wouldn't work so got a little front squat action for you uh it was real quick real quick all the way up to 150 what you're about to watch me is um i uh i, I didn't even hardly stretch i just load up the weight on the bar so 110 120 130 i skipped 130 i went straight to 140 i believe and then i wrapped her uh bought her home at uh one one uh 150 it was a little bit of a tight squeeze. Um, I could have could have definitely moved a little bit faster, but no complaints there. Um, I was just trying to get out of there and uh, you know live the fight another day. So here goes one fifty right here. You, you can see I move. There's a little bit of a sticking point. It's a little bit of a sticking point here. Yep, and uh, shout out to Joe for the little quick hit tip. Uh, I use the uh, wrist wraps uh, to uh, get me started, to get me around that bar, and it definitely helps. So, Well, that's just about all I got for you guys. You already know what the deal is. Make sure you run on your toes, keep your mouth closed. Most importantly, you live to find another day. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I got to get back in the lab. <laughs>